Hey everyone, thanks for all the nice comments on my last video, although there's a few people that uh, kind of went back and forth on with comments. Um, so I figured now, you know, it would be a good time to, um, to do one of my uh, Jewish Talmud videos and lay that all out. Um, you know, a lot of these videos, you know, if I don't get right back to people, some of these videos, I haven't even seen, you know, the comments. I'll put one up, and I've never gone back and seen the comments. So if I didn't answer, you know, somebody's question or whatever, it's just, you know, it's just real busy times. and You know, me and some other people on here getting, you know, death threats. Um, you know, ask Joe Talk 100 about it. He says he's afraid to do videos anymore. I, myself, I don't care. You know, it's uh, it's just time, and you know, I see a lot of people that are having you know, difficulties with things, and uh, they're real unsure about stuff. I can tell they, they they think they know what they're talking about, but their stuff is very confused. And so, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Je uh, the Jewish Talmud. Okay, the Talmud is a it's holy writ for the Jews, and it's the most racist, hate mongering, blasphemous book the world has ever known. Jewish Talmud was written between the 3rd and 6th centuries as a codification of the so-called oral law that the rabbis claim was handed down from Moses. But Jesus censored the oral law when he said, By the traditions of your elders, you make void the word of God. Okay, this is very important for a lot of things that happened later. And not only did... Uh, you know, Jesus tell them that the uh, that the Talmud is against God, but he also said that the Jewish people are frauds too, didn't he? He said that they are not of uh, Abraham. He said, in fact, they are from their father, Satan. And also talked about the synagogue of Satan and those who claim they are Jews and are not Jews. Uh, okay, that's... Uh, that quote, by the tradition of your elders, you make void the word of God. That's in St. Matthew 15. The English translation of the Jewish Talmud has been watered down heavily to conceal from the Gentiles, that's supposedly you and me, basically animals to the Jews. It's to conceal from us the uh, satanic verses contained uh, within. These satanic verses are broken down in three categories. Uh, uh, the first one being Jewish supremacy, uh, Jewish supremacy, hatred towards the Goys, Gentiles, that's what they call us, to put themselves above us, blasphemies against Jesus, the Virgin Mary, and all Christians. Here's some quotes. If a Goy hits a Jew, he must be killed. That's in Sanhedrin 58b. If a Jew finds something lost by a Goy, it does not have to be returned. That's in the uh, Baba, Baba Mazaria 24a. If a Jew murders a Goy, there will be no death penalty. That's in Sanhedrin 57a. Jews may lie to circumvent a Goy. Everybody wonders what's going on with the Fed? Wonder what's going on with the government? Look who they all pledge, pledge their allegiances to. Zion the Jews, and it says right in their supposed holy book that they can lie, they can say whatever they want to you to get over you, get to get over on you. Everybody wonders what the, the media is controlled by them too. And they wonder why everything's so f filled with lies. Talmud tells them to. The Goyim are not humans, they are beasts. That's in uh, Baba Messiah again, 114b. Even the best of the Goyim should all be killed. That's in Seferim 15. A Jew may at any time harm a Goy indirectly, for instance, by removing a ladder after he has fallen into a crevice or a well. That's in Sulken Aruka. That's the Hebrew edition only. Now on to uh, blasphemies against Jesus. And this comes, uh, this is pretty interesting for all the people I see around YouTube who are uh, the followers of Yeshua, right? Yeshua, which is actually a Jewish derogatory 
term for Jesus. It says Yeshua is in hell, boiling in hot excrement forever. That's in Gittin 57a in the Talmud. Yashu is an acronym, uh, an acronym for the Jewish curse. May his name be wiped out forevermore. That's what Yeshua means. All you great, uh, uh, all you great uh, diviners of the truth of uh, Jesus' name. It's a Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Jewish curse. And good luck with that. It says Yashu was immoral. And worshipped a brick, whatever that's supposed to mean. That's in Sanhedrin 107b. Yahshua was cut off from the Jewish people for his wickedness. Now, what was Jesus' wickedness? Telling them that they were wrong. Telling them that the uh, the Talmud was not God's word, and telling them that the Jewish people were not of Abraham, and that they were in fact the synagogue of Satan and of their father. The devil, who was always a murderer. Uh, those who say they are not. Um, Yahshua was cut off from the Jewish people for his wickedness. Yeah, that was his wickedness. Was he said that uh, they were a bunch of fakes and refused to repent. Of course, repenting would mean that he would have taken all back. That's in Sota 47a. She who was descended from the princes and governors played the harlot with a carpenter. Of course, that's a slam against the Virgin Mary. She was descended from princes and governors, played a harlot with a carpenter. That's in Sanhedrin 106a. These quotes go on. Um, uh, uh, another one. You know, Christians who reject the Talmud will go to hell and be punished there for all generations. That's in Rosh Hashanah uh, 17a. You know, in these days, and I've done some videos on this uh, re uh, recently, you know, in these days, Christians, so a lot are waking up to the fact that Juda Judaism and the Jews are haters of Jesus Christ, Christianity, and Christians who preach the gospel. Now, all these people, all these Christians united for Israel and all this, people better know, you know, who, who is in Israel and who, and what, what their opinion is of you. If you're a Christian, you're for Israel. Those in Israel hate you. They hate you. They want you to be killed, and they work to lie to you constantly. All you have to do is look within government and Wall Street. That's who they all are. You know, Bernanke, Ben Shalom Bernanke, uh, Jamie Dimon, everybody who owns the, the media. I've had these videos posted on my you know front page, not for... Uh, fun and games, but for informational purposes. The media is owned by the Jews. Wall Street's owned by the Jews. And here is how they look at you. Anyway, thanks for uh, listening in. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.